Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome to another exciting episode of Meals with Maria and $5 Fridays. This is my second episode in the series and I am so excited to bring you lunches. I figured let's go to Aldi, see what we can buy for five bucks and see how many lunches we can make. So I was able to make three lunches because I'm a person that likes to live on a budget, live frugally, but I do not like to sacrifice. If you have less money to spend, you oftentimes do have less options, but it's my goal to be able to show you that you can still eat really well, still eat with options for less. So let me take you shopping with me and show you what I found. Unfortunately, I did not get any in-store footage, but this is what I got. I got some eggs for $1.18, chili starter for 85 cents, corn for 49 cents, kidney beans for 50 cents, garbanzo beans for 50 cents, and split top wheat for 69 cents. Now the first thing I'm going to do is cook my eggs. I'm gonna be making egg salad sandwiches. This is one of my favorite go-to budget lunches. I love using my steamer to cook my hard boiled eggs. I just put uh, about a cup of water in the bottom, put it on steam for 14 minutes. And once it's set, I put my eggs inside of my steamer. Once the eggs are done cooking, I place them in an ice bath. While my eggs are cooking, I'm just gonna make a homemade mayonnaise. I have done this before in a past video and it turned out really great. It's a super easy technique and it uses things that you should already have in your kitchen. So I'm just using one egg yolk, about a half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and one cup of regular vegetable oil. I am assuming that you have vegetable oil at home, but I do see this as a nice budget alternative to buying mayonnaise, which sometimes can drive the cost of your groceries up. And I find that homemade mayonnaise is like 10 times more delicious and you know it's really fresh. I find it's easy just to use my food processor to make mayonnaise. I'm just pulsing it while I slowly pour the oil in. And once the oil is done pouring in, the mayonnaise is perfectly done. These are just my eggs in their ice bath now that they've come out and it's awesome because they cooled on really quickly. Here I'm just going to peel my eggs. You will see me kind of looking up at the wall. We do have a television in our kitchen which makes it really kind of awesome to just cook and watch other people cook. I don't know if any of you do that. Definitely comment down below if you're also a person who cooks well watching other people cook. Currently, I'm watching Mandy in the Making, and then a little bit later here, I'm watching She's in Her Apron. So if you don't follow those two YouTubers, they are a couple of my favorites, and I will definitely put them in the description box below. And then once my eggs are peeled, I do like to use a potato masher in order to mash up my eggs and make egg salad. I just find that I like the way that it separates the eggs and it's a little bit easier. However, I did find that with this bowl it was a little bit more difficult. I generally would have chosen a larger bowl had I not chosen that as my trash bowl. 
So here I'm just putting about a quarter to a half a cup of mayonnaise. It really depends on how you like it. Then I added about a half a teaspoon of dried parsley, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a few cranks of the fresh cracked pepper. Just mix this together and give it a taste. It's super important to just taste your food for flavor as you go through, especially when you are making budget meals and you're relying heavily on dried spices. You really wanna make sure that your food does not come out bland when you have fewer ingredients. You see there, I did add some more mayonnaise. I could just tell by the consistency that it was not as mayo-y as I generally would like and tasting it, it's delicious. Next thing I'm gonna do is make my chickpea salad. So I'm gonna have egg salad sandwiches as well as chickpea salad sandwiches. So I'm just opening up my chickpeas and mashing them with a fork and adding about a quarter cup of mayo. I just wanna kind of mush the chickpeas a little bit, but not too much. Then I'm adding the same ingredients, just about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of parsley, and quarter teaspoon of salt this time, as well as a little bit of pepper. This recipe would also taste delicious if you had some lemon juice or a little bit of Dijon mustard. There are many different ways that you can make a chickpea salad. If you are vegan, you could use a vegan mayonnaise if you had that, and this is also a great alternative. Budget-friendly meals are often a lot about using the things that you already have on hand to enhance other ingredients that you've purchased. So just take a look in your fridge and see what you have. This turned out amazing as well. Next, I'm just gonna make up a really quick and simple chili. So I'm using this starter chili and I'm basically following the instructions on the back of the can. I'm gonna pour this into a medium pot along with some light red kidney beans that I drained and washed and some corn. Just mix this together over medium heat and basically bring it to a little bit of a simmer and you're ready to go. I was extremely impressed with the flavor on this. I didn't really have to add anything extra. I had intentions of adding extra if I needed to, but it was not necessary. Here we've got some silly kids in the background as I make sandwiches. So I just figure, why don't I make up all the sandwiches and that way there is stuff in the fridge for the family too. I ended up getting 20 slices of bread from this one 69 cent package of split top wheat, which I think is an amazing deal. If you notice, we're kind of all hanging out in our pajamas here. It's a very rainy day at our house, so it's just a long meal prep day for me. And I didn't even notice Julian climbing up on the counter there in the background and grabbing bananas until I watched this video. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> they're crazy. He really is Spider-Man in his Spider-Man pajamas. I also cannot figure out why I always roll up my right sleeve while I'm cooking. I've noticed that about myself on camera in these last few weeks, and I'm like, what am I doing? Why do I do that? I keep trying to pull it, but then I just subconsciously pull it right back up, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Does anyone else do this? Is this just me? I'm not, <laughs> not sure why.
So here's everything that I ended up making. I got 14 meals out of this. There is some small containers of chili here. I think it depends on how much you want to eat each day. That could be either one or two meals depending on the person, but I thought this was a perfect size to go as long as you had a side to go with it. Then I was able to make about eight egg salad sandwiches and four chickpea salad sandwiches, and they turned out delicious. All right guys, that was awesome. I now have 14 lunches for my family for the next few days that are all healthy and hearty and delicious. My son and my husband are already eating uh, the egg salad sandwiches and they love them. I love serving egg salad sandwiches as a budget option because you get a lot of protein. My kids, three and five, they're just at that age where they don't eat a lot of protein and it's hard to get, they really kind of don't like meat so giving them any sort of option, especially eggs, is extremely helpful. If I can get them to eat chili with beans, that's also a helpful option too. Now, on all that stuff, I spent $3.35. So I do have a few additional things to bring us up to that $5 mark. I think it's crazy that I was able to make 14 lunches for $3.35. They didn't have any sides, but I still feel like you got a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of food for the money that you spent. Now. That being said, I want to side with my sandwich. I think that the Aldi pretzels for $1.29 are a huge score. You get a whole pound of them, so that is a really good side. But if you want to go with a healthier option, we have apples. We can get apples sometimes in my area for $1.50 for three pounds. So you could have apples every day with your lunch. And then bananas are also a really good budget option. So this week I got five for 91 cents. This is four of them. So kiddos eat them all the time. I think you saw that earlier in the video, climbing up and grabbing bananas. <laughs> so many options there. You could also do some carrots sliced up with ranch dressing. All the ranch dressing is only 89 cents and carrots are also I think like 82 cents for a pound of them. So. If you combine those two things, you're still looking at under $5 and you're having a really healthy meal every single day. Overall, everything turned out really, really good. I liked the chickpea salad. I thought that was a definitely a fun new option for us. I love the chili starter. I think I'll be using that a lot more often because it's a great budget option because it already has all the spices that you need in it in the right amount. And then I had used corn to make the chili and thinking back on it, I'm not exactly sure why I chose that versus maybe like another can of beans. I feel like a second can of beans would have given the chili a little bit more of a hearty nature and actually would have increased our calories, fiber, and protein. So next time if I were to do it again, I probably would have grabbed like some black beans um, or any other type of bean that you like and you can just throw that right in the chili and you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck than uh, you would with the corn. But it's up to you if you just like the flavor of corn in your chili. I think that's what I was thinking. Like I like adding corn to my chili, but if you're trying to get more fiber, more calories, more protein, definitely go with another can of beans. They're the same price, so 100% worth it. I hope this gave you some really good ideas for you and your family so that you can uh, eat a little bit more diverse and save some money. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more like it, definitely give it that thumbs up. And if you're new here, I am doing the, this series every Friday. So I'll be having $5 meal ideas each Friday from here on out. $5 Fridays, they're a thing. They're here to stay. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not, because it will help you to see my videos in the future so that you don't miss any. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye.